That's right. Joining us now in an exclusive interview, Representative French Hill, a Republican from Arkansas, a member of the House Committee on Financial Services and founder and former CEO of a community bank. Uh, Representative Maxine Waters, let's begin here, sir. Ask Yellen today about lessening the regulatory burden on community banks. Take a quick listen. The chair and I have met on more than, I think, one occasion uh, to talk about uh, community banks and whether or not uh, there were steps that could be taken uh, that would ensure that the community banks are not overly burdened uh, with regulations and to separate out the community banks uh, from regionals and big banks. And so it is not that uh, Mr. Barney Frank or I or others believe uh, that there never, ever, ever, ever can be any modifications, any changes. Uh, we have always said uh, that we are open to technical changes. Uh, so, Congressman, I guess the question is, is there some sort of quid pro quo negotiation going on, less regulation of smallest banks in exchange for overall changes to Dodd-Frank? Well, let me say this by saying that every member of Cong Congress, uh, Democrat and Republican, has great community banks in their hometown. They're all hearing about the negative impact of Dodd-Frank on their ability to serve customers at competitive prices. Specifically where? On capital requirements? I mean, are, are you guys, when you were running the, the community bank, did you feel that was an onerous requirement to maintain similar cap, capital requirements that the big banks were having to do at the same time? No, small banks across this country have significantly more capital than the largest banks in the country. They've always had excellent capital relations. Uh, ratios by Basel standards or Federal Reserve standards. So it wasn't capital. It's the rules that make lending more difficult for credit-worthy borrowers that raises the cost and curtails the uh, absolutely availability of that credit. You know, I keep uh, uh, mentioning that we've asked Barney Frank about that very issue, and he said, and I remember this distinctly, he said, let me get this straight. Banks are reluctant to lend if they don't think they're going to get their money back. He said that is precisely the point of Dodd-Frank. What do you say to that? Well, here's the reality. Uh, something called the QM rules combined with a variety of other regulations has made it very difficult for small banks, particularly in small towns, to offer a competitive mortgage product or a competitive consumer loan. And as a result, a lot of those banks are exiting that business. That's their bread and butter. That's what a community bank should be doing in its loan portfolio. And it's been made very difficult, not just by Dodd-Frank, but 20 years of increasing regulatory burden on small, uh, locally owned uh, financial institutions. Representative, were you satisfied with uh, the testimony you heard from the chair this morning? It was pretty contentious in there. Well, uh, Chair Yellen made a, a comment that I have uh, complete agreement with. She says community banks face a substantial regulatory burden, and it's far and away bigger for a small bank than it is for a large bank. And that's, I think, what uh, the ranking member is talking about. It's what all members are talking about. We are systematically putting out of business our small, locally owned, entrepreneurially geared community banks across this country, reducing their franchise value, making them ineffective, as some have said, too small to succeed instead of too big to fail. Right. I, I, and I can imagine the smaller banks are more uh, inclined to want the, the Fed to start raising rates sooner. I mean, you know, the bigger banks have other areas that they can make some money except on just the lending portion. But if they start raising rates, that'll help those smaller banks. Mona, when, when would you like to see the Fed start raising rates? Well, I'm going to let the Fed make a decision about when the right time is to raise rates. But you're right. Small banks uh, definitely are confronted with a net interest margin that has shrunk, and they do not have a lot of the other fee uh, areas to offset that uh, spread. I wonder, Congressman, if you support the bill to audit the Fed, a bill which, in effect, would give Congress some review powers over their monetary policy decisions. Well, I think it's important to maintain the independence of the Fed as it relates to monetary policy, but it's also important that they are absolutely answerable to Congress on their policies and regulatory policies that they put forward, because it's an in absolutely instrumental to whether we have a healthy economy or not if we have good, prosperous banks of all sizes across this country. Sure. Th this is an example of this testimony of that inaction already, though, isn't it? Are you satisfied with the current level of uh, scrutiny? There's a GAO audit, for example, or, or do you think we need to see uh, additional measures here? Well, as a new member of Congress, I think uh, I'd like to hear some testimony on what uh, those new measures might be and how forthcoming the Fed might be to uh, answer those questions. All right. 
Uh, before we let you go, I mean, uh, it, it is clear there are many members of Congress who are uh, unhappy with the, the level of interest rates. Monetary policy, they think, has been far too easy, far too long. Are you right. in that camp? Uh, I believe that the Fed should, uh, I like the idea of uh, looking at a rules-based approach to monetary policy that takes into account employment, inflation, economic growth outlook. And uh, I believe that the Fed has been uh, plenty accommodative and it's been uh, probably accommodative a long enough period of time. All right. Representative French Hill, thanks for joining us this afternoon. Appreciate it, sir. Thank you. My pleasure. Always good All to the get best. Your perspective of